Hey guys, Sanj here. Welcome back to another episode here on the Bodybuilding News Network. For the second time we're trying this, we have uh, for a pleasure live We've had him on the channel before, but this is the first time in person. Uh, IFBB Pro, Jason Lowe, uh, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Good to be here. Good to finally meet you in person. Likewise. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, as a fan, it's <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, well, we always enjoy it. We always, you know, enjoy getting on the channel and chatting and stuff like that. So right. It's just fun. It's good to, just... to all be in the same area, same spot, and enjoying mm -hmm. the, you know, the sport and the event that we love. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So how is the uh, how's the off season going? Oh, the off season's going, man. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it looks it. It's going well, actually. Like last year, I put on a little. I was heavier, yeah. actually, by the end of my off season, but I was <laughs> in a lot worse shape. Yeah, I have been keeping a lot tighter this time. Uh, keeping a lot, keeping the reins on a little better, mm -hmm. and uh, staying in better shape. But also, uh, you know, I feel I feel great. Yeah, honestly, the strength is better than ever. Uh, you know, the diet's been on point, and I just feel good. Uh, I'll say, still doing the, uh, what, the highway walks? Yeah, usually, I mean, the past couple weeks, uh, I've been, again, slagging off on that a little bit. Uh -oh. More more dog walks than the, yeah. but the bridge, we walk the bridge, bridge that's bridge. just outside of my gym, and uh, it's, it's not that bad. It's like a mile, you know? Yeah. So, it's, uh, it's a fun little walk, though. Better than sitting on a treadmill. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> treadmill's not fun. Yeah. So what are you most excited for? I think we talked about it just for a second, but what are you most excited for about the Olympia? Man, the whole thing's gonna be great. Every division stacked. Every division could have surprises. Yeah. So I think the whole thing's gonna be amazing. Um, you know, you, it's hard to see somebody beating Grammy. It's hard to see somebody beating Chris Bumstead. You know, stuff like that. But it could happen. Yeah. It could always happen. And there's a lot of guys nipping at the bud to really take that spot that could do it and I think there's especially in the open division and 212 I think there's a lot of guys that are getting overlooked that could surprise a lot of people yeah we talked about that off camera how uh, I mean you guys know a lot of the athletes just aren't gonna have the opportunity to stand next to some of these top guys and I mean from a competitor's point of view like that's so valuable for you oh yeah like, especially with your open debut like it was so important for you to get that look next to some of the top guys yeah I mean unfortunately I, my look next to some of those top guys didn't come till the pose down with everybody um, but I'll get case it. Next, in, I'll get it point. next time. Yeah. But I also that I didn't peak right. I wasn't at my best at that show. It was a great learning experience. Yes. But a lot of these guys are going to show up at their best, and I just hope that they get compared to the top guys, so we can really see which way it should go, how well they compare. Right. And uh, I think I think we can be surprised by a lot of them. So many famous people walking around. <laughs> I know. Now, now famous like <laughs> bodybuilders, but it's it's uh, starstruck. I mean, at least I am. Well, I mean, I remember my first couple times coming to the Olympia before I was a pro, and before, and yeah, it's it's overwhelming. Yeah. Now I'm lucky enough to call most of them, you know, friends or acquaintances at least, and mm -hmm. you know, everyone's pretty cool. That's exciting. Uh, as a former 212 guy. What are, you, what are you looking at for that top six? Like, who do you think is going to be landing oh, in there? Man, it's hard. Is, is it it's that hard. open? It re well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to say Sean, uh, Kamal. Yeah. Uh, Keon's looking nutty, man. Uh, this is the really best sharp. he's ever looked. Agreed. And I hope he nails the peak. We all want to. Because I definitely, if he nails the peak, I definitely see him in that top five, top six. Easy. Um, Angel Calderon. Yep. He's right over there. Nutty, nutty looking. Yeah. Um, I think Ole's getting a little overlooked. I've heard him in the conversation, so I don't know if he's getting overlooked. Um, he's he looks crazy though. Yeah. But possibly the most amount of like muscle mass yeah. out of any of these guys. And then I gotta say my my boy Bo. Yeah. You know. Bo. Yeah. Um, Bo Lewis. I actually was just with him, doing some posing with him, and he's looking good, man. Wow. He's looking good. And he hasn't even fully filled out yet, but he's crispy, he's hard, he's dry, and uh, I think he could shock some people too. Yeah. And we're missing one very, very important person. I know. Oh. Who won the Texas, I believe. I know I'm forgetting well. somebody. Who am, I, who am um, I forgetting? I'm drawing a blank as well. <laughs> um, this is terrible. Who are we forgetting? I know it's probably somebody like he's been on the channel. Idiot. I think he, we, he's done an interview with us. Why 
am I blanking on who? <laughs> uh, he won. <laughs> edit this part He out. won the Tampa last year. Oh man. I mean, I can't edit. This is, this is the real world. Um, yeah, I'm like Bajo, Kareth Bajo. Okay. Duh. I was. I, was, I know. Okay. I was like. Oh, I, we've, now, I've, he's been on the channel so many times. Now, now I feel terrible because we I was actually just talking to Kareth. Oh, really? Is yeah. he out here? Yeah, he's up near the front. Oh, my God. Kareth, I gotta find him. Kareth is amazing. I think Kareth could really. That's why you jump. say top five, top six, it's hard. Yeah. Because there are probably eight guys I could put in my top five yeah. in the 212. Uh, Kareth definitely could be up in there. Like I said, if it's whoever nails the peak and then whoever gets to stand next to the right people. Yeah. So, Kare, yeah, Kareth looks phenomenal. He could be right there with him as well. And another guy we're forgetting about is Balzano. Brian Balzano looks nutty. So if he yeah. nails it, he could shock people. Yeah, I think he was in you know? Fuad's top five. So, yeah. Fuad Abiyad. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that speaks volumes. He could definitely shock some people. So, yeah. I don't know. It's exciting, man. It's it's exciting. And, and you're just here. Just enjoy and it. Yeah, I don't have to do anything this week. This is phenomenal. <laughs> I get to just hang out, be a fan, watch everybody. And hang out, and uh, yeah, so no obligations this weekend except to uh, enjoy it and you know do things like this. Yeah, talk to people. Yeah. yeah, well, we'd love to have you back on um, pre-show, maybe even post-show. Hey, I'll uh, be around. It's outstanding, Jason. Yeah. Uh, genuinely, a pleasure, <laughs> honor to meet you in person. For sure, man. Uh, guys. You already follow him. I don't have to tell you, but the Instagram is going to be in the description. But uh, another one. Thanks, guys. Sanchir, and I'll see you in another one.